Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use PowerShell to push data to a streaming data set in Power BI. Okay, PowerShell, streaming data sets. What brought that up? Well, wish I had a real world customer scenario to bring you, but I don't. All right, it was Adam and I chatting about demos and stuff, and somehow we said, let's do a streaming data set. And I said, you know what, that'll be cool. I'm gonna write a console app using in C Sharp that'll push the data, or maybe I'll use Flow, or maybe I'll use Logic Apps, or maybe I'll use, he was like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Why don't you just use PowerShell? I was like, light bulb went off. A light bulb just, boom. And I was like, yes, 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 I remember, all right? And so I ran off to go do it, right? And so before you go off and do it, think about what you wanna stream. In this case, I decided I wanted to stream, I wanted to monitor the CPU and memory that's you know being used on my machine. I was like, cool, so I decided that. And then the next thing, ah, you, wait, 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 wait. you guys know how I like to do, right? Talking too much, instead of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop. So once I figured out what I wanted to stream, I logged into Power BI, and I created a data set, a streaming, a streaming data set. So go to your workspace and you'll see a little create, a plus, a plus button label create. Go ahead and click it. And then you'll see an option for streaming data set. Choose it and choose the first one. Choose API, right? Azure Stream is coming and PubNub's been there for a while. Click next, give it a name. So let's call this monitor CPU excuse me, and then make sure you turn historic analysis on. If you wanna to connect to this data set in the desktop, you'll need to turn this on. And I didn't know, maybe I wanted to create some report level measures and stuff like that. But anyway, anyway, so turn it on, turn it on if you wanna follow along with me in the video. All right, and then you go ahead and say, hey, I wanna do date and, you know, time and CPU and memory. You guys get it, right? You do it and you click create. Once you click create, the data set will appear in your workspace. And if you click the app info icon here, you'll see there's the data set, right? There's a JSON that it's expecting. And then there's some options for raw, CURL, and PowerShell, right? Go ahead and copy this. So what I did was I copied it and held on to it in my clipboard. And then I clicked this little icon right here, the cre create report icon on that data set. And I built a little report. I'll show you what the report looks like. So I built a little report, kind of rough, didn't do a whole bunch of work on making it look pretty, but there was a line to, a line chart with both of the values, the CPU and memory here, and then four cards, one for average, one for average for both CPU and memory, and one for average for both CPU, I mean max for both CPU and memory, okay? Then I created a dashboard, I just pinned all of this stuff on a dashboard, and you can see my dashboard, okay? So there's nothing going on on my dashboard. And so remember, I was gonna write console app. I was gonna use some C Sharp, right? I can, I can, yeah, I can write a little code a little bit. Or I was gonna use Flow, which is super easy, or Logic Apps or something to start pushing this data to, or write a, a cursor. Nah, no cursors, no cursors. But anyway, you guys get what I'm saying, right? So, um, but instead, right, it produced this PowerShell. So I opened up a uh, PowerShell window, and I paste that little, piece of code that Power BI provided for me, the service provided for me. And if you take a look, right, it gets the endpoint. So here's the URL for the data set. And then here's the payload that I'm gonna pass, right? These are the, remember the four values that I decided I wanted to capture, there they are. And I and it assigned some default values to them, right? Some, um, just persisted some values and then it just called invoke rest method and it passed the endpoint and the body of that JSON to it. So let's go ahead and run this. So let's run this. So I'm gonna run it. So we'll run this and go back over to Power BI. And we have one little dot on our line, both of our line charts and some values in the cards, right? It's just cool. So then I wrote a little PowerShell script, which you guys will have access to, all you PowerShell experts out there. Don't, you know, don't make fun of my code. If you if it's if you make it better, send it back to me, right? I'd appreciate it. All right. So if you take a look at this little piece of code that I wrote right here. Right, so it's just an infinite loop. I'm capturing the CPU, the memory, the date and time, and then I'm calling the exact same thing, just replacing those hard-coded values with my dynamic values, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and run this. So let's go ahead and run this little piece of code right here, and we'll go back over to our dashboard in Power BI. And now you can see it's already getting 
some values, right? It's already doing some stuff and I'm excited about it. Can, there's my average memory, there's my maximum memory, my maximum CPU. Let's see if we can spike this CPU a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Visual Studio. A little, give it a, a little bit to open up. Let Visual Studio do its thing. Look at look at CPU. It already spiked out at 63, 93%. It'll come back down once Visual Studio settles down. Huh, pretty cool, pretty easy. What do you guys think? Have you done this before? Have you seen this before? How are you doing it right now, right? Got any questions, comments? Post them in the comments below. This is your first time visiting a guy in the Cube channel. You know what to do. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, two thumbs up. As always, from Adam and Patrick, Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. One more. Should we give him another one? Give him options.